the liquids are in equilibrium in an open tube means they're just balanced they're not moving up and down what is the ratio of density p over density q okay don't worry about how you're going to find the ratio just stick to the basics balance the left and the right so pressure in equilibrium the pressure on the left side should be the pressure on the right side of this tube so on the left side what do we have we have this very light colored uh, what you call this light colored liquid there so that will be rho of that liquid P times G times the height which is 2 of X that's the height of that light liquid lah. plus okay here I'm going to show you why we can ignore the bottom part so let's say we want to plus this bottom part also okay so that will be the O liquid Q so density of Q G times X that's if you want to consider that bottom part on the right side uh, what do we have we only have Q oh I forgot to mention you see how this is open air the tube is open right means actually got atmospheric pressure also here also got the other side also got but you will see that they actually cancel out because both are open okay la, let's write it down atmospheric on this side so the other side will be the same liquid there okay actually two of it so you have liquid Q times G times the height total height will be 2x plus atmospheric pressure so if you rearrange this a bit atmospheric pressure minus atmospheric pressure so these two fellas are out already la. and actually this one P we can rewrite it as 2 rho P G X P Q you can move to the other side actually so uh, we'll move the other side minus 1 it'll just be rho Q G X where the two go? Nah, because here got two, here got one. So I moved to the other side, only left one or two minus one is one. So this simplified equation, actually you can shortcut, you can jump here very fast. How? You just look at the pressure at this red level. At this red level, both sides got atmosphere, so the effect cancel out. So you just look at this column, which is two rho gx, and the other side, what's different is, just this column here so that'll be rho q gx so sometimes it's okay if you just shortcut and just write this one but you need to choose the line where below it everything's the same huh? okay from here how do we simplify oh g and x can cancel out g both divide both sides by gx so gx is gone all that's left is 2 rho p equals to rho q and they ask us what's the ratio of density p over density q okay so we need to do density p over density q which means the ratio is 1 over 2 that's how you can uh, find the ratio so if you see tubes don't just stand there and like huh, how to find density what just write out the all the pressures pressure on the left equals to pressure on the right Okay, the theory is this, if the density is the, of the liquid is the same, then it should be evenly distributed across the tube. Makes sense, okay? So what is this P gauge thing here? Let's play around with it. Let's make the density of this liquid more. So if I drag this, more dense, it actually affects the liquid on the other side. Okay, see what's happening there? Ooh. So now this side's liquid is more dense and it's kind of like filling up this whole bottom part. And you have a difference in height. So from here to here is the more dense liquid. From here to here is the uh, less dense liquid. So the pressure gauge, pressure gauge at point A at this point, there's going to be this much 760 uh, pressure pressing at this point. 
Now at the bottom here is all the same liquid, so usually we can just choose a point where the liquid is different. So on the right side, here, the pressure here is going to be all this, uh, all this liquid on top pressing on there. And notice, it is 760.75. Wait, that's exactly the same as the left side. That means, at this point, this whole tube thing is in equilibrium because the pressure at this point is the same as the pressure at this point. So they are balanced, the liquid won't move anymore. Now if the liquid on the left side is less dense, so kind of illustrate uh, this lighter color is where the lighter liquid is. Okay, so maybe something like this. So at the same point, if I want the same pressure, I would need more of the less dense liquid to press down at this point. And this one more dense, right? So I need lesser height to press down to get the same pressure. So see 373, 373. So that's the whole idea of, uh, of, of, of pressure in tubes. It's all about left side balance, the right side. Pressure must be the same at this same point. So if I add an extra mass, what is a mass? This little grey thing here. Maybe it's like a block or something like that. Add extra mass. Oh, then now this left side got help to press down the liquid. Means the pressure from this mass and the pressure from this height of water equals to the pressure of this entire column of different liquid. So see, pressure on the right at this point is 1110, left side 1110. So that's the whole idea, left side equals right side, and you should be able to solve all kinds of questions based on that.